So these are the apps that I would recommend. Uh, definitely the PhysioU one and then the Complete Anatomy app, as you guys know. What was actually full range of the neck? So let me go to the neck here. And then you have your range of motion and it shows you, okay, like extension. Well, what was the uh, extension normal range? And if I ever need a reference on how to do it, I could click the video. But if not on the bottom, oh, okay, it's about 45 degrees. So this complete anatomy app, it's pretty cool. Uh, you have 360 view of the skeleton and then you can always add your muscular layers. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get this guy beefed up. Okay. <laughs> Hey there, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Justin Lee, fitness coach and third year physical therapy student. Here you'll find videos on fitness, physical therapy, and lifestyle that helps inspire self change. This channel is all about lifting others and lifting weights. So if that resonates with you, feel free to subscribe. So a lot of my videos are catered towards education and providing you guys value and educating you guys on not only the process of physical therapy, but the physical therapy and science in general as well. Um, I'm a huge advocate of education. I love my program, my DPT higher education program. Um, however, I still enjoyed my undergraduate process as well. So I just really wanted to say uh, this is not a paid thing. Um, my wife just works for this organization called Trio, I Heart Trio, and it's really an amazing program. Basically, it's a federally funded organization that helps first generation, uh, underrepresented, low income disability students to be academically successful. I hope I said that right. Wifey, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if I messed up. <laughs> anyway, TRIO, if you're a undergraduate student or even a um, high school student and you're looking for going into education and you want an education for yourself, consider this program TRIO. TRIO, like duo, TRIO, like a tree. Okay, stop. So anyways, uh, this video is all about um, organizing an iPad. So we have Joey Lopez who asked for a video request on saying, um, how do you organize your notes and files? Do you use Notability? Is it possible to go through DBT school with just an iPad Pro? Are there any must have apps that you use on a daily? All right, Joey, so we're gonna be going through all your questions here today. And those of you who find interest in this video as well, please give this video a like. And if you have any questions, feel, again, feel free to put it in the comments. Okay, so our program, our DBT program at Azusa Pacific is all iPad only. So really we haven't received any book or papers to us that, that we needed because it was all on a PDF on our iPad. So I'm gonna be screen sharing my iPad here um, to show you guys basically how I organize my notes because it's literally all in here. If this thing disappears, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Okay, so here is my iPad and if you can see, yes, my beautiful wife, lovely wife, uh, this was on one of her birthdays at Perch in LA. Anyway, so uh, try not to get distracted by my great looks and, and my wife's great looks, but see if you can see the apps in front of you, okay? Watch the apps, not me. Okay, so anyway, this is what my iPad looks like. Uh, just some miscellaneous stuff there. Yeah, sometimes I get bored, so I play some games and that's just like extra. But mainly on the bottom row here, if you can see, um, I have a lot of my DPT stuff that I really, really would recommend. Okay, so first off, let's just look in this folder. Uh, these are the apps that I use like primarily for school, like school, school, um, basically like uh, how, like being a student. So you have your Word, you have your uh, sheets and things like that. Um, so make sure, I like to organize it where I have more of my like apps, like books in one section, like a, in a folder, and then my other like uh, resources and things like that in another folder. Um, our school used, um, we pretty much had a Gmail account all across. So Google, Google Sheets and Google Doc, and I don't have it on here, but Google um, uh, Pages or whatever, uh, the PowerPoint version, uh, is a fantastic one to have because that's how you communicate with each other. Um, you'll be sending each, so at least this is the way we do it. 
um, you'll be sending each other links to, all right, this is my Google Drive. Like you can edit it, you can go in and edit it and it's all virtual online. Most of you guys know Google uh, system anyway. So Google Drive is great. Uh, we use, uh, I use calendar for myself just to stay organized. And then we used to use this Examplify, um, this Examplify app and we changed it over to Lockdown. Basically, these are the apps that we use um, for when we take tests so like we don't cheat. So it like locks out your whole iPad so you could only stay in the test, obviously. And then um, the student thing that's called Canva, Canvas. Um, it's, a, it's something that we use for online resources. So we pull all our uh, texts, our PDFs, our lectures going through this app because that's how the co teachers communicate with us. So that's the system we use. And then of course, Notability, that's like all of my notes, like everything from the first term to the last term. Like that's, that's it's kind of scary that it's all on one app, but um, reliable, right? It was recommended through the program for us. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you that in just a little bit. Okay, next uh, we have the medical or I just like to call this my resources um, folder. Now, when, as you, as Joey, as you said that you use the Physio U apps, they said, this is basically all the apps except this anatomy, anatomy one in the corner. Um, I don't know if you guys have access to these. Um, I didn't see it online, but if you want to look them up here, CPR, shoulder, elbow, all that stuff, um, I still use it. And that's, um, that's when, without using an internet. Um, however, these yellow ones are, sorry, not yellow. <laughs> Uh, however, these orange ones on the bottom, you do require an internet or you can always use the online app, which is physiou.com and then they'll send and then they'll send it to you and hook you up there. Okay, but I have these individual ones just because it helps me stay a little bit more organized. Um, and I think we were still part of the beta version. So instead of all these apps, now he has one app. So these are the apps that I would recommend. Uh, definitely the physiou one and then the complete anatomy app, as you guys know about that. So this complete anatomy app, it's pretty cool. Uh, you have 360 view of the skeleton and then you can always add your muscular layers. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get this guy beefed up. Okay, and then you could zoom in. Like, hmm, I wonder what that muscle is right there on his chest. Let's click it. What is it? Ooh, pectoralis, major muscle. You can sh it shows you the different views of it here. Um, and if you go back, you have the motion. So sometimes this helped me to understand, like if you don't have like that movement mindset or like if you're, if you're, um, uh, you know, you're coming from a different major besides like movement, exercise science or kinesiology, so movement kind of might be an obscure area for you. So I find this pretty helpful to visualize the motion. So let's say here you have media rotation, that's internal rotation. It shows you a video of how it internally rotates the arm and you can see how the humerus is going internally towards the anterior side of our body. So pretty cool. Um, and then you have, let's see, uh, you have the nerves and arteries, but that I would be aware of because your school is going to have something different. So, um, and you know, as we are a human body, but some people have different theories. So they think that certain nerve roots like five, six, seven is going to this muscle versus four, five, six or something like that. So just double check with your anatomy program. Okay, so we have the complete anatomy and then you have your uh, Physio U apps, which is super amazing. Like um, I'm personally studying to go into uh, rotations right now and I'm still going back to here and like, oh wait, what was actually full range of the neck? So let me go to the neck here and then you have your range of motion and it shows you, okay, like extension. Well, what was the uh, extension normal range? And if I ever need a reference on how to do it, I could click the video, but if not on the bottom, oh, okay, it's about 45 degrees. So then I remember, okay, extension 45 degrees. Um, and I use this, use this app to study still, and I'm a third year physical therapy student. It's not just for entry level uh, people. And I'm sure I'm gonna be referencing this when I'm in the clinic as well. It's, it's so handy. Okay, now next, let me get to your question, Joey. Do you use Notability? Yes, I absolutely do. And let me show you how I organize it. Okay, so in Notability here, okay, check this out. You have one column, which is all your, right? 
your class and then you have your lectures come down. So with anatomy, I, have, I separate it by weeks uh, because that's how it was presented to us and to reorganize it where it's like, oh, this was the arm, this was the leg. Uh, I just do better by, by like setting myself to remember like week one, I have to remember this, week two, I have to remember this. But you can organize it any way you want. Like sometimes for anatomy, people said, oh, we did the, the uh, trunk, we did the head, the arm, the legs, um, and they organized it that way. Week two, we went over the shoulder. Week three, we did more of the arteries, brachial plexus, things like that. Um, Anti-brachial muscles, like the forearms. So yeah, so that was our anatomy, um, our clinical, clinical skills. So as you can see, um, I organized everything basically with the weeks, and that's how I did it. So in the beginning of the term, we took anatomy, C skills, anatomy, and then we went into our ortho kind of near the end of our first year uh, with cardiopalm neuroscience. And this section, oh my gosh, starting at uh, cardiopalm and down, it was like, oh, <laughs> help me, I'm sinking, I'm sinking. Uh, good memories. Anyway, so this is how I organize my iPad. Uh, is it possible to get through DBT school with just an iPad Pro? It honestly depends what your program has, uh, but I went through the entire program with just this. Um, I also have the, um, the Apple Pen, which definitely helps a lot in my opinion. So for example, when I go into C skills and I show you guys like shoulder uh, joint, um, you can see how I am drawing on here um, using my different pens, my colors, my highlighters. I, what I like to do is whenever I see patterns, I like to kind of group them together. So I'll put something there and put like one, two, three. Um, I like to put stars to make sure that it's, it stays, it says to me that it's important. So it's a good reminder. I underline the keywords and try, just basically try to create patterns in my mind to help me remember these like ligaments. Uh, so for example, uh, the coracal, the coracal clavicular ligament is comprised of two. You have the conoid and then the trapezoid ligament. So maybe I put like CT. Oh, you need like a CT scan on that uh, on that clavicle. Um, so then I remember like CT conoid and then trapezoid. I don't know. I don't know. That's how I do it. Um, I like to draw um, and with colors. Colors are super important. Um, but yeah, so this is what I do with my Apple Pen. I would definitely recommend getting that, if you, especially if you're like a kinesthetic learner. Highly recommend. Okay, so are there any must-have apps that you use on a daily? Uh, I talked about that before. I definitely would recommend using all of the apps that you see here, the Google products, especially if your program uses Google uh, to communicate, and then all the PhysioU products and then the Anatomy Complete course. That's all I use, honestly. Um, everything else was online lecture, but these are the apps that I found to be the most uh, beneficial in my um, higher education learning. All right, guys, before we end this video, I just want to give some appreciation words for you all. Um, it's been super crazy just to jump on this whole YouTube thing. Um, I mean, it's like <laughs> I was from doing some vlogs and then now I'm just super consistent with my videos. Um, and it's been crazy how much growth there has been and I'm so appreciative for all of you. Every subscription matters, every like matters. Like I look at that, I analyze all that and just to see this um, channel, Lift for Change channel just to grow at its rate at this point, it's like, wow, like this is working. So um, I continue to ask for uh, thankful, not ask, but I continue to say uh, thankful. I am thankful for each and every one of you. Um, I'm learning to do this whole vlogging thing on my own too. Um, just basically trying to grow, trying to help you all, trying to help all of us change. And uh, I'm just, I'm very thankful. So thank you so much. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you again, Joey Lopez, for requesting this video content. If any of you guys have any questions on something with DBT related, fitness related, lifestyle related uh, questions, 
feel free to comment below. I do, I do listen to all of them. I do answer to all of them as much as I can. And um, yeah, and it's if you have a question, that means someone else has a question. So I hope you guys took something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it inspired some self change so that it can help you stay organized or maybe avoid my organization. Who knows? All right, remember, change people, change people. That's why we live for change people. Have a great one, you guys.